guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video tightening toning getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines lifting the skin just elevating that skin just plumping up that skin that is what we are going to be doing today today i have a new combination this is like just awesome like a wonderful goodness that you're gonna use on your skin it's gonna tighten that skin it's gonna lift the skin it's gonna get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines and a hey, here it comes it's gonna clear all the spots and blemishes on the skin once you use it on a regular now in about seven days if you use it at least two to three times a week you're gonna be amazed at how younger and fresher and cleaner your skin will be looking now why am i talking so much if you're interested in this video come with me to the kitchen and we'll whip this up together and then i'm gonna do a live demonstration at the end to show you how wonderful and how effective this remedy is so continue watching our first ingredient is corn starch and what is corn starch corn starch is just the starch taken from the corn now corn starch is very effective in helping to shrink those large pores because it is filled with nutrients and minerals that is great for the skin now corn starch when mixed with the other ingredient is going to create a wonderful facial mask to help helps to shrink the pores while tightening and toning and firming your skin. Our next ingredient is aloe vera gel and this is fresh aloe leaf. I'm going to be extracting the gel and aloe vera gel is great for tightening the skin. It's going to help to clean the pores leaving them clean so they could shrink. Aloe vera is also great for getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines. It's going to also help to tighten the skin, lifting, toning and basically use as an estrogen because it has estrogen properties it is also great for acne because it have antibacterial properties just a wonderful wonderful oh my goodness aloe vera is also great for getting rid of dark spots and blemishes from your skin the next ingredient is lemon really vitamin C in full loaded with antioxidant properties that is going to help to clear your skin from any blemishes meaning it's going to get deep in that pores take all that dead skin cells and grease from the pores and once the pores are clean they're going to eventually start to shrink this lemon is also going to get rid of the spots and blemishes from your skin then it's going to give you a dose of vitamin C which is known to boost the collagen production and brighten and lighten just give you fresh clean clear spotless skin final ingredient is rose water which is going to be used as an estrogen in this recipe rose water is going to cool the skin it is also great for moisturizing the skin it's basically going to help your skin to be just soft and supple and this is why we're using this with the other ingredients so that your skin will get the full benefit of not only clearing cleaning but also moisturizing now for this recipe you're also gonna need a grater and you're gonna need a blender so now we're gonna begin so I'm gonna start with my lemon we're gonna use both the lemon zest and the lemon juice therefore we're gonna zest the lemon by grating so make sure to wash your lemon thoroughly since we're gonna be using it on the skin if you have organic lemon that is just great to use but use the lemon you have just soak it in some vinegar and you're good to go soak it in the vinegar for about 20 minutes and rinse off to zest your lemon you just slightly rub the lemon on the grater like this now if you do not have a grater and you cannot be bothered with this step you can choose to peel your lemon do not go too far to the pit and then you blend the lemon peel and you will still get your lemon zest but definitely zesting the lemon like this is much easier than putting the peel in the blender your choice however 
And here we have our fresh lemon zest. We're using about a half of the lemon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the lemon in two halves. This is what we're gonna be using. Make sure to get rid of any seed in the lemon, and we're gonna put this aside. Moving on to the fresh halo vera, we're gonna use about two ounces of this fresh halo. However, if you do not have fresh halo, not to worry. Get yourself some store-bought aloe vera gel. Make sure it's 100% pure and natural. So we're just gonna cut about two ounces. And now we're gonna extract the gel. This is what we're going for. This is the gel, this is the peel. We're gonna take our knife, we're gonna cut right here at the side, both sides. And this is what we have now. We're just gonna take the tip of the knife I so love doing this. And we're gonna go right under the top, upper top. Don't waste it, so don't go too deep. And do the same the other side, right under, as close as possible to the leaf. And here you have, wow, nice and fresh halo vera gel. So we're gonna take this halo vera gel, we're gonna place this in our blender, and we're gonna blend. Do not add any water to this, okay? Just blend as is. And here it is. This is your fresh halo vera gel. So now we have all the ingredients ready. We have our cornstarch. We also have the fresh halo vera gel. We have our lemon lemon zest and we also have the rose water and now we're going to put all this wonderful goodness together for this recipe we're also going to need about a quarter cup of hot water now the first ingredient going in our bowl is the cornstarch we're using two tablespoons of cornstarch you can also choose to use rice flour for this which is also gonna work wonders. Next, we're gonna reach for our hot water. We're gonna start off with two tablespoons of hot water, just two tablespoons. We're gonna mix this really quick. And it's definitely, we need a little bit more of hot water for this, just a little bit more. So we're going in for another tablespoon, making it three tablespoons of hot water. You're just gonna blend this in. Not to worry, it's gonna be a little thick, but this is exactly how you want it to be. We're using two tablespoons of the aloe vera gel. We're using one teaspoon of our rose water. A teaspoon of our lemon zest region for our lemon and we're going to use about a tablespoon the half of a lemon will give you about a tablespoon of lemon juice and now we're going to blend this together and it's going to be a little lumpy at first that is good so just blend take your time now why did we use the water? We use the water to thicken the cornstarch. Why didn't we wait until we had the other ingredient to warm this? We are protecting the properties of the other ingredient, the hollow, the lemon, and even the lemon zest. Boiling these will kill some of the wonderful properties, so we didn't want to do that, okay? And now, this is about ready. Now, this facial mask can be stored in the refrigerator. However, what is gonna happen is gonna thicken up a bit, probably a little too thick. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take the leftover lemon and also the leftover aloe vera gel, and you're gonna have it to just whisk it again, and it is good to go, all right? Now, you wanna use this up within seven days or so. It's really not gonna spoil, but it's gonna get so thick that you don't wanna use it. So just make enough to use at least two to three times, all right? Which is a week. 
and that is what is recommended. Use this two to three times per week for best result. And now I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful facial mask, mostly for shrinking those pores, tightening and firming that skin, getting rid of all the spots and blemishes from your skin. This is also going to get rid of any form of a hyperpigmentation on the skin this is also gonna lighten and brighten the skin basically leaving you with a young fresh radiant looking skin just really a younger looking you you need to wash your face before you apply this make sure to get rid of any makeup that you're wearing and if you choose you could also exfoliate the face the day you're using this or a day or two before and now this is ready to apply to the skin so you're just gonna mix it in and you can choose to use a brush or you can choose to use your hands to apply this so you're gonna be generous with this you're just gonna take it and you're gonna apply it to your skin circular motion just applied to the skin go down on your neck and decollete with this if you choose let me come up close for you to see what's going on as soon as you applied if i do this you could see it start to dry on the skin so just apply it and sit with it for 30 minutes and yes i like to use the leftovers on my hands which is also going to get rid of the wrinkles from the hands if you have those. Well, now after the 30 minutes is half or however long you want to wear it, you're then going to rinse this off with some room temperature water. Once you're done, you are going to pat dry the skin and you're going to apply your favorite facial toner. You're going to let the toner dry on the skin and then you're going to apply your favorite moisturizer. Now guys, as I'm talking, I could feel my hands check this out guys see how clear I told you this is gonna get rid of the hyperpigmentation on your skin and this is almost like instant I just applied right in front of your face on my hands and you can clearly see I did not apply it here and I applied here and you can see the difference both hands so I just rent and rinse my hands and you can clearly see the difference check it out it's darker it's lighter let's come close for you to see the mark in right here is the mark and there you go wow all right guys 15 more minutes and i'll be back So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. And guess what, guys? Your comments are always welcome. So once you leave the watch the video, leave a comment. Go try the remedy. Come back and leave another comment, okay? Remember to share the video. And if this was your first time watching, I'm sure you are already you know taken aback with this awesome goodness so in order to see more just hit the word subscribe below and you will be subscribed also on the side there's a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification as soon as i upload a video thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye